What's up everyone? My name is Jenna Rose and this is my most requested live Ask Anything chat. My new song is called Checkmate and thank you so much to Romeo and iHeartRadio for having me on the show tonight. Rachel from Memphis, Tennessee says ass. Okay, let me reset. Let me re, let me focus. Rachel from Memphis, Tennessee asks, if we set up a karaoke machine in your living room, what's the first song you built out? Hmm, karaoke was always my specialty. I would say girls just want to have fun, maybe. But I, I'm, I'm definitely open to a lot of songs. Karaoke is my jam. Emma from Chicago, Illinois. Um, fun fact, my mom and my manager are both from Chicago, so I love it there. I have a ton of family. She says, what would you consider was your big break? It's a great question. I would say that I haven't had it yet. I have had hundreds of amazing opportunities that I'm so grateful for. But as far as a big break, I feel like that is coming. But I would say that all of the little things add up to a big break for me. Mary from Milwaukee, Wisconsin says, what is your go-to dance move? I would have to say that my go-to is the iconic step tap. So, vibing. <laughs> and in all seriousness, I do love to dance and I've been getting more and more into it and then in my music videos and performances and heels too, which is super fun, but I'm not pulling out my heels at parties, so. <laughs> Maria from the Los Angeles, it says, I am currently in Los Angeles, says, what's one makeup product you cannot live without? Good question, because I love makeup and I love to talk about it, but I think that I would have to go with mascara because it makes your eyes pop, and if anything, I would want that, I think. Reet from Brampton, Ontario, I love all the friends up north, um, says, can you please come to Canada? In all caps, I love that. Yes, for sure. I have been to Toronto before. I loved it. I thought it was so beautiful. And I want to go again on tour and on vacation. So I will see you soon, Reet. Mackenzie from Cortez, Colorado says, biggest influence on your career? I would have to say my parents because they have always supported me, never wavered. They've always told me that I can do anything that I want and to dream big. And I'm so, so lucky for that. I'd say music-wise, I grew up on a lot of 80s music, and so 80s bands like Depeche Mode, Duran Duran, Echo and the Bunny Man, as well as modern-day artists like Taylor Swift, her career has been incredible, Elton John, Adele, so many artists. Jillian from Vancouver, another Canadian, I need to get there, says, if you were an exotic dancer, what name would you pick? Solid question. Um, I'm going to head to Google right now and see what I can find. Okay, we're going to look up how to find your stripper name. Okay, images. Okay, I got it. Okay. We have the first letter of your first name with the first letter of your last name. All right, let me find it. J. We got Kitty Heat. Kitty Heat. I'm sold. It's happening. Kitty Heat. I'm changing my name, my real name, to Kitty Heat. <laughs> Tabitha, I love that name, from Boston, Massachusetts, says, what would you consider your biggest accomplishment of your career is? I would say, as an artist and an independent artist especially, that everything adds up. And honestly, right now is my biggest accomplishment. I released a song put it out there into the world and all you can do is hope it does well and try your best. And you know, I gained a lot of amazing, amazing fans. I, the video has been doing great. The song has been doing great itself. I mean, honestly, I'm here right now on iHeartRadio on Most Requested Live with Romeo. So does it get any better than that? I don't think so. <laughs> Andrea or Andrea, not sure how you say it, from Portland, Oregon says, when you started in the industry, how did you find your style in music? That's a great question because when I first started out on my keyboard, I was just writing songs and singing them and performing them on my keyboard. And it was more taking influences from Sarah Bareilles and Adele mainly. And that propelled me to now taking influences from so many things and from all the 80s music that I grew up listening to. And 
I feel like it evolved as I evolved as a person and as an artist. So I've done a lot of growth and changing in myself and so has my music. Kat from Chicago, Illinois, another Chicagoan, I don't even know if that's a thing, says, what is your favorite thing about the JRA? If you don't know, my fan base is called JRA, the Generos Army, and they are the loves of my life. I love them with all my heart. My favorite thing about them, it's very hard to choose a favorite thing, I would say their dedication and their souls because they're all so, so sweet. And every DM, every message, every edit just makes me so, so happy and warms my heart. So I love everyone so much and I'm so forever grateful for their support. Sherry from Minneapolis, Minnesota asks, can you do impressions or accents? Sherry, oh, can I? Of course I can. My sister-in-law is British and I love doing impressions and accents. <laughs> that was so bad. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> Jackie from New Mexico asks, were your nails in the Checkmate video acrylics or press on? They are so cute. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate that. Actually, they were press-ons and they were a pain in my butt and we would have to take them off and they would hurt to take off and we would place them for each outfit. And so uh, they were a pain, but totally worth it. So thank you. <laughs> Mac from Detroit, Michigan asks, what was it like touring with Echo Smith? How did you get the opportunity to tour with them? Well, they needed someone to open for them, and I guess I was the perfect match. So it was the full tour. It was so much fun. They're a family, and so it kind of felt like we were all a family. And every night I got to perform and do what I love, and I made some mistakes. I learned from them, and I had so much fun meeting new people and being out on the road. Emily from Brooklyn, New York asks, is Jenna Rose your real name or is it your stage name? That is a good question. My real name is Jenna Rose Raphael. So Rose is my middle name. And as you can see, Raphael isn't the best stage name. So I just went with Jenna Rose and it is my name. Jillian from Johnsonville, New York asks, if you were to create a concert lineup and you were the headliner, what four artists, dead or alive, would be your warm-up acts? Love that question, super unique. I am gonna have to go with the four Bs. Drum roll, please. We got the Beatles from the 70s. Solid, of course I'm gonna pick the Beatles. We got Blondie, 80s, love it. Then we'll go 90s, 2000s, and now, of course, Beyonce, the queen. And then Bieber because gotta love some Bieber. Those are the four Bs. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching my Ask Anything chat with Romeo and Most Requested Live. My new song is called Checkmate. Mwah.